Go back there right mm. now. There's a time far, far away. That's right. Big, big hair, even bigger shoulder pads, stonewashed oh, jeans, yes. and barely a mobile phone in sight. Well, the Queensland town of Gympie is still living in the 80s, and the good people there wouldn't have it any other way. No, the town's really good. Hasn't, hasn't changed one little bit. It's great. The indoor skate park, it's like a, a big indoor skate park, I guess. Yeah, we just chuck flips sometimes. You just get to experience uh, sort of like a large family. A lot of people don't realise that these little communities are a lot easier to live in than living in a big city. Yeah, it's pretty good if you get like pretty cheap food and stuff. Or you cheap. can eat five bucks. Good people. That's why we came here. And I think that anybody else that turns up here will love it too. Oh, well, let's talk to Gimby resident and music muster boss David Gibson. Dave, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. How are we? We're really well. We're thrilled that someone is still living in the 80s. We do in our heads, but you are physically still living in the 80s. You're on a crusade to preserve that fabulous decade. Now, I understand you've managed to hold on to the local video store, the roller skating rink. There's even an all-you-can-eat pizza hut. Is there still a market for all of this stuff? Oh, look, absolutely. Even you can get your... Um when you go to get petrol in town, they'll even pump it for you and clean your windscreen at Gympie wow. West Station. I mean, that's the kind of community we have here. They just care, and, and it is about the people. And, and Gympie's, a, you know, one of those places that we're a bit like planet Earth. You know, we're far enough away that, you know, mm. to we, we have everything, but we're close enough to the community that we've really, we know each other and we have a great time. You know, uh, I wouldn't have got through uni without $5 all-you-can-eat Pizza Hut yeah. Tuesday nights. <laughs> uh, you just fill yourself up, whack some in your uni bag, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Um, however, you've got great stuff there like Space Gate. <laughs> Remember Space Gate? That was unreal. Um, are you getting the kids involved in some of these retro things? Yeah, look, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, standing in front of Pizza Hut here and all you can eat Zinger. is about the kids as much as it is about the family. And, uh, you know, the soft serve ice cream, I mean, what kid hasn't put more in a bowl yeah. that they can't eat <laughs> yeah. and, then, uh, and then looked at it to hook into? Oh, deep pan. <laughs> right there. How's the video yeah. store go? <laughs> oh look, and and it's <laughs> the video store's doing really well. Well, actually, it actually closed, but not because the business wasn't doing well. There was a dispute oh, the between the owners. Movies. So someone's come in, <laughs> and we've got a new video store. And can you believe it? We're getting twenty thousand titles coming in. I reckon they're going to have all of the '80s classics. We're going to have Top Gun, ET, oh, and yes. Carl. I reckon they've got your favourite, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh yeah, oh. Bueller. My favourite too. Huh? Bueller. And, and nothing screams the '80s like an indoor <laughs> roller skating rink. Do you still have the Saturday Night Disco? Oh look, Saturday Night Discos were made for love, and uh, <laughs> that's what it's all about. And people are. <laughs> People are getting there, they're having a great time. Parents in their 40s, maybe early 50s, are showing their kids a few moves on the uh, roller skating rink. And look, if, if you're a bit like uh, perhaps some of us have had a knee reconstruction since you last put on your roller skating rinks, hmm. they've got Space, oh, um, yeah. space Invaders, they've yeah. got Pinball. So you've got a whole range of things you can do there. Oh, it's yeah. just got a great atmosphere. I used to love the tandem skate as well. Right. And uh, run the, the, uh, the Gimpy Mustard is, is still huge. You're still running that. You still see, obviously, the occasional mullet and big perm there, don't you? Hey? Hey? What? Oh, look, absolutely, oh, guys. Yeah. I mean, we all know that Keith Urban... Got Simons. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Urban rocked the Gimpy Muster with a killer mullet and yeah. his career took off, yeah. as has the Muster. It's been running now for 35 years, started in the 80s. Um, it's given back $15 million dollars to the community huh? Australia-wide mm. and mullets are de Amazing. rigueur out there. So uh, make sure you come along and have a great time. Good on you, my man. We Fantastic stuff. Long live Gimpy in the thank, 80s. Thank you very much, Dave. I always wanted to ask Dickies. And... Thanks a lot, guys. And check out themustard.com.au if you want to uh, find out anything more about the muster. All Great. right, we'll do. We'll do. Your we'll favourite thing from the 80s, Dickie, can you answer? Actually, don't. <laughs> <laughs> he must have had a good time in the 80s. Oh, oh good one.